My name is Nadia Locke. I'm a pediatric radiation oncologist here at the Mayo Clinic, and I'm uh, going to discuss our recent results of a study we did looking at the outcomes of children with a special kind of brain tumor called a low-grade glioma. This is something that uh, we've had an interest in for a long time here at the Mayo Clinic, and actually about three years ago we presented our first report, our first results, of looking at our early patients treated from the 1970s to 1990. And for that series, we had about 200 patients with 20 years of follow-up. And this series is an update of that experience from the 1990s to the current time to see how things have changed in outcomes for these children uh, and how results look like now with modern MRI and modern surgery. So this is together uh, a large series of pediatric low-grade glioma uh, patients that have ever been looked at, and even this modern series is one of the larger uh, series that have been published. And what we found is very good news, is that more patients are able to have a complete removal of their tumor, and that's really the most important thing for a chance of cure and long-term survival, is having an excellent sur neurosurgical resection, resulting in removal of all known tumor, we call that a gross total resection. Uh, and that when that happens, greater than 90% of the children are, are surviving greater than 10 years and are probably cured. Our data from our older series with 20 years of follow-up says that, that those, those results should continue and be stable for the next, next 10 years. And so there's more children that, that are, being able, are able to have complete surgical removal and we, we feel that that's probably because of better neurosurgical techniques and better imaging techniques that help guide the surgeons remove the tumors and that st like we found in our initial report that for the the children that can't have their tumor removed completely because of usually uh, where it's located somewhere deep in the brain that can't be removed safely without causing a lot of harm to the child that radiation improves their outcomes it actually reduces their chance of the tumor ever going back and makes it equal to the patients that were able to have surgery. Uh, so for patients that couldn't have uh, complete removal of their surgery, adding radiation to a less than complete surgery improves their, or reduces their chance of the tumor progression, that's our word for tumor going back, uh, to the same as patients who had surgery alone. So also very reassuring that we have great treatment options for kids with these type of, this type of tumor, even if they can't have a complete surgery.